This is exercise 3B in the Getting to Know ArcGIS for Desktop 3rd Edition. I'm on page 49. It says start ArcMap and, if necessary. And we want to go to the Chapter 3 folder. We want Example 3B. I still have the document from last time. So we're going to go to our File tab here. And we're going to uh, open. And we want 3B. Uh, it remembered where I was, so I didn't have to do any navigation through the folder structure and open that up. And again, we want this to take up the full extent of our area here. So let's go up to the little globe here that's the full extent and click on it. And now we've got a nice size map. Now let's turn to page 50 and number 2. Uh, we want to click on the zoom tool right here. And I want to um, basically uh, draw a rectangle around Australia here. Okay, and when I do, uh, it zooms in on that area, and our map should look similar to the display at the bottom of page 50. Okay. says the scale should now be somewhere in the vicinity of 1 to 40,000. Well, I'm one, I'm sorry, 40 million. I'm on 1 to 24 million. Uh, let me try uh, zooming out. Now let's just do full extent here. And I'm going to go back and try again. And I'm going to try to uh, do my selection pretty close to what they did. I'm looking at the rectangle on page 50. And it looks like they're starting just below this. And actually, the rectangle they have drawn in the middle of the page there and the rectangle they show at the bottom uh, are not the same. The one they show at the bottom looks like it starts uh, like way up here and goes all the way down to about here. And if I do that, okay, 1 to 33,000. So um, that's close enough. And now we're on page 51. Uh, to avoid accidental zooming, um, which is what happens when you use uh, the wheel here, you can zoom in and out. Oh, there we are, 40,000. And uh, actually using the wheel here it takes us in nice increments. See the numbers popping up here in the middle of the screen. And there we are at about 1 to 40,000. And um, so we want to click the Select Elements tool, which is the arrow pointer. And I want to move it over Australia, and the name Australia will appear. So these are map tips. And now we want to turn to page 52. And on page 52, uh, we want to click on the pan tool, which is the little hand here. And I'm sure you're familiar with that. Um, that lets us drag the map around. So just click and drag. And what we want to do is we want to go up here a little bit, and it looks like from their map we want to look at um, the Arabian Peninsula and uh, India here. And it appears that I have a higher resolution display than they do in the textbook because I'm seeing a lot more. Uh, if I want to make it look like it is in the textbook, um, let's just go here and Oh, let me see, we're up about here and down to here and over to about there. Now that should be, yeah, that's close enough. And now we're on page 53, and we want to click on Iran, which appears to be this, no, I'm sorry, this one right here. And so we want to click on our identify tool and pause it over here and click on Iran. 
and it will turn green for a second so you can see that you really are selecting what you want to and it will bring up this information and um, it wants to know what the ISO number is for Iran um, and it looks like the ISO number is 364 and we want to click several other countries I think this is Saudi Arabia and we got Israel over here and we got Egypt over here and that's about the extent of my Middle Eastern geography uh, close the identify window and click the fixed zoom in button once so let's zoom out with the arrows pointing out this is zoom in with the arrows pointing in and I didn't see anything happen there let's try that again okay so it zooms in a little bit and it says click it three more times one and every time you do watch what happens to the scale up here so zoom in and it doesn't say where to stop with that um, click the go back to previous extent button several times which would be this one and I think that's about somewhere in there is where we were before and when you're done navigating zoom to the full extent of the map which is this little globe here and click the select elements tool which is our little arrow and it says if we're continuing to the next exercise leave arc map open otherwise click file and exit so we will leave it open but I'll stop the video here